Barb Schwartzberg. I'm a breast surgeon in Denver, Colorado. Rose Medical Center, which is where I work, enjoys working with clinical trials and they therefore looked at the interstitial laser trial offered by New Living Health as an excellent way to uh, support their mission. We've got an excellent group of investigative physicians that collaborate well together, work well together. We've got a very proactive cancer committee and because of that, we're always interested in good trials with physician champions who support them and we know we'll be able to get the patients who want to be involved. Women really like to be in clinical trials. They like to step up to the plate and give back to other women that will be following them when it's their turn to be treated for breast cancer. Therefore, they want to be enrolled in something that is a step forward in helping women, society, in making improvements in how their cancer is treated. From a practical standpoint, it makes treatment of a woman's cancer much easier, uh, much more efficient, much less cumbersome. In the Novalaise clinical trial, the type of patient that we're looking for is obviously female, age over 18, with a small cancer, less than two centimeters, or about an inch in diameter, and it has to be of a certain pathology type, that being infiltrating ductal carcinoma. One thing I've come to realize with the laser procedure is cosmetically how good the patients look after the procedure. Anyone who's thought about a lumpectomy or looked at a lumpectomy done traditionally with surgical excision in the past usually sees or feels a large divot where the lumpectomy was performed. With the laser therapy, there's no volume loss. I mean, the, the contour stays the same, there's no bruising or bleeding, and there's very minimal scarring because we just had these two pinpricks that are used to insert the equipment. So a breast really looks normal immediately after the procedure. And that's very different from traditional lumpectomy procedures. My experience has been like in performing this procedure is actually the first patient. She came to the ultrasound room. We bladed the cancer from start to finish. It took about an hour. And then we wrapped her up with a Band-Aid and an ice pack. Her husband picked her up. Initially, she was planning on going home, but instead she thought she'd stop by work and pick up some papers and end up staying there for four hours working. Not what I would recommend, but it really shows how quickly people recover. Obviously, to get there, we have to take baby steps, and we're working with the FDA to do this. The initial part of the trial with the first 60 patients I will demonstrate first that we can ablate the tumor with laser, and then a month later we'll go to the operating room, surgically excise that tumor, and show with traditional pathology that the cancer has been totally ablated with the laser heat. There is a wealth of information that any patient can access to learn about the trial. Certainly Novian Health has excellent resources on their website including some good videos that a patient can view to get more information about the trial. Because it is now a clinical trial, paves the way for other women in the future to, to have access to this treatment without being in a trial once the trial has been completed and shows how effective this is.